I am so incredibly grateful for having this opportunity um, just to, to speak and just to get my message out there and hopefully help one person today. We are all so blessed. Mm -hmm. um, if you live in the United States and if you're watching this podcast on your phone or listening to it on iTunes, then that means that you are probably in the top 1% of the world. That's right. Um, as far as income and uh, the things that you have. And there's so much for us to be grateful for. Leaders express gratitude. This is a huge one I'm super passionate about. Tony Robbins says success without fulfillment is the ultimate form of, of failure. But the easiest way to feel happier and to have more fulfillment is by practicing gratitude every day. It's one of the greatest things that you can do. And so what does that actually look like? For me, I do it in the morning. I practice gratitude every morning. It may be weird, but I do it in the shower. And I do it audibly, like out loud. I say just things that I'm grateful for. This is the exact one that I used for like 18 months, I would say this, every single morning in the shower. I can remember it like it was yesterday. I would say, thank you for the opportunity to work hard to make great money. Notice I didn't say thank you for great money. So thank you for the opportunity to work hard and make great money. The thing about gratitude is it's, it's all about perspective. A roof over your head, food in your stomach, family, those that love you, um, a car, a phone, the ability, the freedom to go out and, and work hard and, and earn a living and um, stuff that we take for granted um, and stuff that other people don't have. And True. a lot of times we've said that um, what we are complaining about, there's somebody else in another country praying for. Like I'm so freaking grateful um, for the struggles that I've had, the things that have happened to me, the things that I've done and being on the other side of that now because it's made me who I am. If you want to take gratitude 2.0, like the next level, start being grateful for the things you don't have yet but that you're striving for and start getting super specific on those things. That's what I'm focused on now. Like I'm grateful for that matte black Ferrari California with the red interior. I'm just extremely grateful for it. Joseph hasn't bought it for me yet, but I'm extremely, extremely grateful for it. But, but seriously, get specific. Start visualizing these things that you want to have um, and they don't have to be material things it could just be the environment that you're in family friends uh, freedom di different types of things but start envisioning those things and start practicing gratitude just as though they already exist like literally feeling as though you already have it Joseph and I are we're really big on the um, on Andy Frisella and his podcast he talks about like pulling up onto the tarmac in his Lamborghini and what what the the rail feels like as he's climbing into his jet, and what the interior looks like, and what it feels like when he sits down, like getting super, super clear and, and visualizing these things. So be grateful for what you have and work hard for what you don't have.